time of year, I am usually in my element. I'm usually getting you guys to pick which four books you're going to read for Booktober. I'm planning letters to autumn. I'm just drinking up all the pumpkin spice lattes there are. But as much as I love my jobs, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else with my life. Work has kind of taken over a little bit this autumn. We're gearing up towards the 30th anniversary for Les Mis and we've got celebrations afoot. Uh, I'm writing my book. This time last year I had just finished writing All I Know Now, but this year I'm like in the midst of writing On the Other Side and my deadline is approaching and so I have to, you know, keep writing every day and it means that I don't have a lot of time for anything else. But autumn wouldn't be autumn without Booktober. So I am going to encourage you guys to pick your four books, one for each week of October, and your challenge is to read one book a week for every week in October. You guys are free to choose whichever books you want to read because unfortunately this year I'm not going to be able to read along with you because all of the time that I used to spend reading I have now replaced with writing. However, I am going to make reading those books worth your while because for every book you read for each week of October I am going to reveal something about On the Other Side, whether that be a character or something about one of the characters you already know about who knows? Who knows? Who knows what I'm going to tell you? Obviously, I'm not going to give away anything too major about the story and I'm not going to tell you big plot twists or anything like that, but I'm going to tell you a few little bits and pieces here that make the book magic, in my opinion. I have a Goodreads account and there is a hopeful group forum thing on that Goodreads account, which I will link to below. So if you go on there and share with everyone what books you're reading and how you're getting on with those books and start discussions and stuff, then I'll be able to see how you're getting along with Booktober. As for Letters to Autumn, which is a series of videos I did last year, every day in October, which you can watch here if you missed out on it last year, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have the time to be able to make a video every day in October, so I'm going to see how writing goes in October because my deadline for this book is in November and if I do reach my deadline and everything goes to according to plan then I will do Letters to Autumn in November instead because November's still autumn, let's be honest. That's not a promise though because life is mental right now but things should be getting less hectic as we get to the end of the year. So fingers crossed and wish me luck. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you've chosen to read for Booktober. It's a really weird thought that some of you this year could be choosing to read All I Know Now for Booktober and next year you could be choosing to read On the Other Side for Booktober. That's really odd. That's weird. I love it. That's weird. Happy reading. On October 22nd, which also happens to be my birthday, the new Christmas edition of All I Know Now will be released! Ah! It's so purple and it's so pretty! <laughs>